planet begins to convulse with fury as the senseless greed of limitless capitalist expansion implodes the global economy, as our civil liberties are eviscerated in the name of national security, shackling us to an interconnected security and surveillance apparatus that stretches from Moscow to Istanbul to New York. How shall we endure? How shall we resist? Melville makes our murderous obsessions, our hubris, violent impulses, moral weakness, and inevitable self-destruction visible in his chronicle of a whaling voyage. The self-destructive fury of the quest, much like that of the one we are on. And those on the ship on some level know they are doomed, just as many of us know that a consumer culture based on corporate profit, limitless exploitation, and the continued extraction of fossil fuels is doomed. Our financial system, like our participatory democracy, is a mirage. And if we do not swiftly and radically reconfigure our relationship to each other, as well as to the ecosystem, microbes look set to inherit the Earth. They know that, as Immanuel Kant wrote, if justice perishes, human life on Earth has lost its meaning. And this means that, like Socrates, we must come to a place where it is better to suffer wrong than to do wrong. I do not know if we can build a better society. But I know these corporate forces have us by the throat. I do not fight fascists because I will win. I fight fascists because they are fascists. And this is a fight which in the face of the overwhelming forces against us requires us to embrace this sublime madness to find in acts of rebellion the embers of life, that the fight for life goes somewhere we do not know where. The Buddhists call it karma. And in these acts, we sustain our belief in a better world, even if we cannot see one emerging around us. Thank you.